There's no such thing as the great indoors, and so we're going turtle hunting. If you don't want to see turtle hunting, uh, don't watch this video. Viewers' discretion is highly advised. I'll play the rest of the video, and uh, but I just wanted to put that out there before you guys start watching it and see something that you don't want to see. It's a contro very controversial subject, and so people like myself might find it a bit tricky to share this type of activity. But at the same time, you know, because we're doing things the right way, uh, we want to uh, share it in the in the right way as well. You see, and so we'll show you the video and. Uh, Hopefully you, you understand that this is a part of our tradition that has happened for generations and generations. So while Jono is setting up the harpoon and the spear and all that stuff to help us get a turtle today, um, might as well let you know where we are and what we're doing. Obviously we're going out to get some turtle and um, coming out in my boat today because Jono's boat's in the shop. <laughs> and so my boat isn't equipped with a Galloway um, to go for turtle, but so we're just going to use the outboard motor. It's, it's, and it's alright, it's just like using a rifle whenever we go for turkey or whenever we go for goanna. We're actually going to get a couple today just because we have ceremony coming up um, in, in a couple of days and so we want to make sure we've got enough for family, for everybody's family when that happens. <clears throat> and so we got Ben with us as well from Paw Paw's uh, Pet Store, go and check him out if, you, if you're in town in Broome of course. Pleasure. And um, John is going to be our host for today so he's going to actually show us how to do this turtle hunting and um, so we're going to row over at secret spot. <laughs> now we're in Roebuck Bay and basically we're going to have a cruise around and we're going to have a look for a turtle and then we'll, we'll I'll, I'll try and explain it or you, you'll see how it goes from there basically. Now so turtle hunting obviously has been happening for a long time you know thousands and thousands of years. Turtles evolved about a mil hundred million years ago or something like that. And, you know Blackfellas have been hunting them um, you know on land whenever they get the opportunity otherwise they'll go out on rafts made by um, mangroves you know <clears throat> and so they've been um they've been hunted for a long time and ever since they've been hunted they've never been pushed to an endangered status eh? um and so but at the moment now a lot of these turtle species are actually endangered species and it's not because of us yeah it's because of there's other things happening in the world and in the ocean that has an impact on the on their population um and the other thing is you know today we're hunting the green turtle um and so we're not we don't really hunt all those other turtles and so but yet all those other turtles are endangered species. So there's, there's a good example there. It's obviously not, they're not, obviously not pushed to that status because of our hunting <clears throat> or our taking or, or whatever you want to call it. All right, so that's just a little bit of that. We'll, we'll get into that maybe a little bit more later as well, a little bit more of that. Um, but yeah, you can see, uh, so today, you see Jono has got the big big spear. Um, we, we call that Jello. And so Ben's just cleaning out the end of the harpoon, which sits on the end of the spear. And that will go onto the turtle, basically. And so the rope is actually tied onto the jello here and over back here as well. Um, because this spear, <coughs> the spear will sink and so we don't want to lose the spear. So that's tied to the rope, that'll be tied to that, that float. All right, my turn to drive. <laughs> Reef there one. see it on camera but right at the point of that spear there there's a big black thing there moving around obviously the turtle's not black but that's how they look when they're underwater 
Yeah, yeah. On the sand. Crawling on the on the sand slowly, hey. Yeah, like crawling around in circles. Yeah. Uh, we just, just watching a turtle on the floor. So this is like a sandbank here, and this turtle is just sitting on the bottom, sort of crawling along. Um, Elbujano is watching him. So you probably can't hear it, but the other guy up the front is doing looking out, and um, <clears throat> and um, he's telling me which way to go and what to do. You know, go forward, stop, and so at the moment he's he's kind of yelling out, go forward a bit, stop there, and, and whatever. You see the signals he's doing. So I'm just just crawling up slowly, little bit by little bit, just because the turtle is crawling along the bottom, little bit by little bit. Too deep. sand up you can't see him that well and then it'll come back out into clear water oh, yeah. I think that's a mirror yeah but, but there's another black thing over there it was eh? Might be two or... see this black thing y'all looking at that's, that looks a bit smaller but eh the thing y'all look huge oh yeah yeah I'm oh, looking at that black <laughs> So we could be here a while, <laughs> but these turtles, they, they can hold their breath for a very long time. I, I, I think, you know, scientists don't actually know exactly how long they can hold their breath for, um, but I think it's somewhere between three and ten hours, which is a pretty long window, um, or maybe it's one and three. I don't know, don't call it me. Yeah, bro, that's moving. This one 100% moving under, so. Maria, hold on. We'll go find another one. We'll be waiting, because that, that one may just get up for his breath. This one's just cruising in front of us, eh? It'll be underneath for a long time. Alright, we're gonna go look for another one instead. Lemon shark. 
bashing around. We're gonna press it. Oh, is that a big shovel now? Around. I'm gonna crash in them. <laughs> I reckon it had a turtle in his beak, in his mouth. Do you reckon it's just a big turtle and he's taking it down? I reckon. Shit. I, I don't know, I don't know. We'll have a, we'll analyze the video later. <laughs> Where are you now? Ben. What's that one? Oh, look at it. Fuck you! Look at that Oh, you got him. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> you are. Just let them wear out, eh? Like a barrel. I wouldn't know. I don't know. That's bad. Nah. I heard that. It's <laughs> <laughs> about what? Doesn't give much hope to us, Lord. This is the main man. Hold it. Hold what? Hold this. Go for a little more. Careful with him, you know? Hold on now. Hold it. Hold it. Now you're on. Get through. Stay down here. Turn him off. Hold it. Turn him off, turn him off. How do you get a big animal like that in a boat? You gotta grab him by his wings. Recording? Yeah. I don't think I was recording earlier too. <laughs> but that one is on eh? Okay, yeah, great. This thing, hey. When I grab it, yeah. You pull it back. Yep. Yeah, like when I when I grab it, you pull me in. Yep. When you see me, when you see color, okay? Yep. So you just worry about the rope and Do you wanna hold this? Get that one out. Oh, nice one. Let him go down. I'm ready. Fish over there. Now grab this thing here. It's flippers. Grab the flippers. Hello. 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 
Yeah, you got him in? I got him. I feel like I should be helping. I see where you first There he is! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so there's that harpoon You're straight in there. Bad bastard. Just get ready for the next one. Yeah. You can stay there if you want then. <laughs> That's go, 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 isn't it? <laughs> Woo! How oh, was that? That's bad, bro. Yeah, it's good. Just thanks. Find another one. Yeah, with that tail, small tail. Female. Female. Gotcha. And so females normally targeted because um, because they're fat this time of year. This Bangla season, this is when they're breeding. And so when you get a fat one, um, you don't need two or three or, or more, more, you know what I mean? Like a nice fat one is good good size for the family. Can you pull up? Let's keep pulling up. So just getting the harpoon and Jarrell ready for the next turtle. Alright Elbow, pull him. <laughs> See if that rope is moving like that. Mm. That's, a, that's a good knot. Because when the rope is too tight, that's how the turtle keeps jumping out. Hand him up with your hand. Uh, yep, just like that. Alright. So, just the leaves mob, no? Give me a look. So, that harpoon that was in the shell here just sits on the end, just sits over the spear's tip. Yeah. And that comes out after you hit the turtle. Huh? And so, that rope has to be tight so it doesn't just fall off. That's how it's meant to be. Oh, feel it? Oh, crack. Oh, Whoa. Whoa, it. Whoa, it oh. oh. Now nah, you get him. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, y'all boat! Wait, wait! Whoa, Gun getting? Got a spear? Please? Yeah, here you go. Boy, Don't take that arm, not out of that. Just tiring it out. 
So he's on the he's on the harpoon just towing it out, eh? Yeah. Before we try and wrestle it onto the boat, otherwise you'll have issues if he's not tied out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. My time. <laughs> got a step ladder down the back. I've got a neutral. What's in neutral here? Yeah, let him come. It's a bit high that ladder. I see what you mean. Once you hold their fins, they don't swim. Do you want me to show you? Yeah. Right here, hold my glasses. You really gotta just hold their fins up in there. They're sort of stuck. Oh, I'm sure I don't know how to get on the lens. Here, Ben. Here, Ben. Here, Ben. Oh, no! What? He's unhooked! He's unhooked, bro! Hold him! He's unhooked! Hold him. The harpoon's coming. Hold him. Hold it. <laughs> Big bala in the water. <laughs> Ben's hanging on because the harpoon's come off. I can't drag him anywhere. He's huge. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to get pulled in, eh? <laughs> Quick. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> <laughs> Rolling, man. <laughs> you better get him, he's slipping there. One big flick and he's gone. Wait a minute. Sorry, sorry. He's slipping, he's slipping. He's gonna fall in the water. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you got him? Yeah. You got him? Where are you going, bro? <laughs> so I'm, I feel like I'm half useless at this point, but I'm trying to counterbalance the, okay, the boat, okay, otherwise we'll flip over. Ready? One, two, three! Whoa. That is a big turtle. Oh. Do it. Let's go again. Oh, you got it. I'm slow. Oh, shit. 
or even three times the size of the other one. Hey, how do you feel, Ben? Woo! <laughs> That's his <just> time. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should go for small ones. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> See, that, that harpoon came out, so... Um, That's why. <laughs> Lucky. That would have been lost maybe twice or three times if Ben didn't hold on to it. So good work, Ben. <laughs> Woo! Woo! That's power. Yeah, but that, that thing's was, yeah. that thing's probably the same weight as me. I just like trying to lift him off the bottom at first time. <laughs> and he just went no. <laughs> <laughs> he just pulled me back down. <laughs> you get a new belly. And you, when you grab them in the wings yeah. right there, you push them up, face them up. <clears throat> That's them what up. it was. And then the second time I nearly got there mm. and he came up and I was like, ah <laughs> with a lot of practice. Yeah, you just probably make it easy on yourself once you get the hang of it. Maybe have a little breaker. Yeah, <laughs> you have some water, Ooh. some water over here. <laughs> Look how big this fella. Meat for days, man. And it's just heaps of meat in that, right? Eh? Yeah. Oh, so my, it's probably like, yeah. that one would probably be like 25 bags. Nice. Of this curry and flour and hat wraps. Yeah, so we've done well. Feed <clears throat> right. a fair few families for few weeks, eh? Yeah. Maybe this one can go to Yaru. Yeah. They're probably coming to cook them, right? You'll have to do the work again. Uh, give them young ones. So, so these are these are called green turtles, but you notice it's not really green, it's actually brown, isn't it? But they're referred to as green turtles because of the fat. The green in them is fat, and maybe we'll have some footage of that later. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> but, um... That's why they call the green turtle, if anybody wondered. But, just... Just while we're sitting down with the motor off, remember I mentioned the Galloway earlier? Um, normally we'd go fishing for them with the Galloway. Basically you have kind of like a piece of wood sticking up at the end here of the boat and it has like a bit of a V. And down that V, oh, how do I explain this? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So you have, have a bit of a, so we'll have a piece, I mean you probably maybe up here on this boat because it's so high at the back. Probably a piece of wood that sticks up, and at the top of that wood you'd have a V cut out, sort of like a V anyways. And what's sticking down in that V is basically the Galloway, which looks like a big paddle, hey? So that's sticking down that V like that. And basically someone's standing up, sort of pushing along, pushing the boat along. This is obviously not the exact technique, but <laughs> pushing the boat along. Um, and you push it along nice and quietly and you sneak up to the uh, turtle. Obviously it gives the turtle a bit more of a chance, um, apart from the stealthiness. <clears throat> but um, that's the traditional way of hunting for, for turtles. Not only Aboriginal way, but the turtle stay out in the way, eh? Yep, yep. Yeah. yeah. And, um, but obviously I don't have that set up on this boat. And um, we're not doing that today, but we don't need to as long as we're still doing the right thing and not taking too much or more than what we need. And like I said earlier, we're only getting a couple today because we're getting more for more families because of ceremonies and funerals that are happening later this week, hey? Yep. Yeah, so um, it's not like we do this every day, hey? All right. There's your little recap on that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good work. All right. So, the Albert Johnny's just did a little slit in the neck here. And basically, this is what we do when you get one. Um, just to make sure that it's fat enough. Um, I mean, you can see that it's quite chubby. But that's how it's basically done a little slit there, and you can see the fat is actually popping out. It's and, too um, much. Because there's so much in there, yeah. So that's basically like run for days. Yeah, so that's going to have a lot of feed for, um, for the Maybe family. Maybe some egg. We never know. Yep. So you can check that one if you want, so you can learn. From here, mm. from there, it's got a little bit. Not too much. Yeah. So just cut them there. Done. You cut it. See fat. Plenty of fat. Where's my case?
Might be a little one or what? So back back. Oh, oh that's right here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Turn around, 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 around. Can hear it. You're right. Go ahead, that way. Hold it, bro. We're turning left, left, left. That way. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, there he is, yeah. Much deeper here. Your foot. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yep, yep. Yeah, that's right. Keep that little distance. As soon as I go over him, he turns around. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, got ya. Yeah, yeah, got ya, got ya. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, got it, got it. Ah! <laughs> no way! You're going this side. You're going this side. Quick, 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 quick. Is that what you can see, right? 
Na. You got him? Na, go, go back, go back, go back, go. Go, go, go. You're just going over him again. He's there. So, so, slow, 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 slow. Oh, there you go, he's going that way. Out of water by yourself,
Shout out sitting in the bite. Woo! <laughs> Shit, bro. That's hard yakka. I definitely earned my like feed. <laughs> Good work, Elwin. Yeah. Um, Banner, you want to take this? Because I got it on high quality yeah, recording. Hit it hard. Yeah. Do that, boys. Just come out. Just, just come out. <laughs> Yeah, Lugiano is cleaning the boat because I have to rush off to work. <laughs> we just went for a quick hunt before I had to go to work, so I got to shoot out to the crocodile park <clears throat> and feed those guys. But um, so just to clarify, yep, we got three turtles in the end, and um, what we're going to do is we're going to donate this biggest one here uh, over to our Yaru PBC organization, and they're going to they're going to divvy that up, divide that up, and give that to old people, um, Yaru people, and. Um, the other one's there. Jono and I, got, Jono and I, are gonna keep one each to go to our family. But um, these three here, you, might, you know, you might look at it. If, if it was just a photo, you might think, oh, these mom got three turtles. That's a lot. But this is gonna last us a long time. We won't, won't need to go hunting for a long time. So um, that's gonna sit the zap. And we've shared what we can with all our other people, you know, our family and all people that are part of our community. But in the meantime, I've got to rush off to work. So Elwood Jono is going to clean the boat. And last note, actually, I just wanted to clarify is, you, you, you know, you mob that watch this video and you might see Ben and think that he's not a black fella because only here in Australia, <clears throat> only Aboriginal people are allowed to hunt these turtles because they're a protected species. But Ben is a black fella, <laughs> although he doesn't look at, doesn't, obviously not as black as us anyways. But he is a black fella, so we didn't break any rules there, and neither did he, which is a really, really good thing. Um, and it was good to, um, expose him to that as well seeing as it is a part of his tradition um all right you want to say any last words before i take off and close this thanks for watching <laughs> until next time yeah, until next time all right signing out see you next time <laughs> <laughs> that's how you